Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I'm going to talk about the new MuseScore Studio 4.5 percussion panel. Uh, if you've tried to enter percussion music, you've probably seen this appear and maybe you're not sure how to use it or why you would want to, but it's really a wonderful thing and I'm going to give you a quick tour of it here. So first of all, if you click on a percussion staff and you see it just pop up like this, th this is a thing that could happen depending on how you installed, how you updated. It's not supposed to pop up like that. So first, let's fix that. Uh, if you go to the view menu and say restore to default layout, then it will appear down docked at the bottom of the screen. That's where it belongs. If you have installed MuseScore Studio 4.5.1, it will show up there by default always. So anyhow, it shows up when you click on a staff, and then if you un unselect it, it disappears. As we're going to see later, we maybe don't need it to uh, appear all the time, but let's talk about what it's good for. Well, what it's good for is we can now enter notes just by clicking. Uh, we don't have to double click like we used to, so you can open, you can enter your notes just by uh, clicking here on one of those panels, uh, one of those pads they're called. Um, you can also, if you click the layout button, You'll see, oh, next to my lovely face over here, you'll see that you can edit the layout here by dragging these pads around. So you can get the, the ones you use most often up there on the top row. You will also notice, um, let me say finish editing here, that shortcuts are showed here, shown here going up to H. Well, you can keep going. You can use the entire alphabet. You can use any characters, any uh, key combinations you like that are supported for shortcuts at all in MuseScore. You can now have shortcuts for your entire drum kit. And that means you might never need to actually use this panel, but we're going to come back to that in a second. The other thing you can do here is look at what happens as I uh, hover my mouse over uh, the staff. It's showing me which note is going to be entered. So it's another respect in which you don't actually need to use the panel at all. If you want to enter a snare drum, just click here. If you wanted to enter the ride symbol, you click here and so forth. So uh, it allows you to, between having shortcuts, I can also press whatever the ride symbol shortcut is. Looks like it's F. So I can press F to enter it. That's not new, but the ability to define new shortcuts just by saying, hey, I want side stick to have a shortcut. Let's click there where the shortcut goes and you'll see define keyboard shortcut. And it gives you a dialogue where you can define a shortcut for that. So between the ability to define shortcuts for everything and the ability to just enter notes directly onto the staff, you really don't need the panel most of the time. So what we can do is go to Edit, Preferences, and then Percussion. And you'll see here that it defaults to whenever a percussion staff is selected. You can change it to when inputting notation, and then it'll pop up only when you enter note input mode. But I actually am liking having it set to never, meaning it won't show up by default at all. And it's, it's there now because it was already open, but the keyboard shortcut O will open and close it. So I can close it, and now I can go in here and start entering notes, and I probably don't actually need the panel at all for most things that I do. I can, you know, type shortcuts and so forth and just enter notes directly onto the staff where I want. But then in the situations where I'm like, oh, I want to enter that one note that I don't know how to get to, well, then you can press O, get to your panel, enter your side stick, and then close the panel again because you're done with it. So it's really a, 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 an easy to use and very efficient way of entering percussion music uh, that's brand new with MuseScore Studio 4.5.